So now that you've kind of got the sense of how to do broad controls that affect the entire image, what we call primary corrections, now we're moving into this category of what we call secondary corrections. And secondary corrections are things where you limit the correction, you limit the color effect to a portion of the screen, either based on the on range of color or based on a shape. So let's go back to the, the video inspector here, and you'll see that um, next to the word correction over here, there are these two little icons, and these are your key to performing secondary corrections. And these will allow you to do add a color mask or add a shape mask. Now, but before we do that, we've already got a correction going on here. We've already got, and we know that because this is lit up with a color. If I go in there, I see that, yeah, I've got a little tiny adjustment to my exposure. If I press Control G, you see I have a little before and after, and we can see just do a little bit of a, a contrast stretch going on over there. And, but if we go back to our video inspector, we don't want to mess with this one. We don't want to change this correction. What we want to do is we want to add a new correction. And then we're going to use that correction to make a specific area, just control that green background or that orange cross area or the color of her face in addition to that first correction. And so I'm going to click the plus button over here where it says color. And that's going to add a second correction. And now with this correction, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, the first thing I'm going to do is select this first thing to add a color mask. Actually, before I do, I'm going to hide my scopes. And generally, I prefer to keep the scope showing all the time, but I've got so little room to work with on this tiny monitor that I think it's practical in this case to omit the scopes. Um, and so, okay, what to, first what we're going to do is a color mask. And when I click on the color mask, what happens is now I get an eyedropper. And when I click on that eyedropper, I can click and hold. And as I drag, I'm picking a range of color based on the that circle there that I've selected. So you see, I can select just that green area. If I go too far, it starts getting, see now a little bit more green. You're seeing the peace on words are visible too. If I go any further, I'm starting to get that orange and I certainly don't want that. So I'm gonna bring that down till we get just the green areas, just like that. And we've got a nice little selection made on that correction. And you see this color mask appears over here. Now you only see that selection, that black and white area, what we call a desaturated selection. We only see that while you're making the selection. Once you let go, you're seeing the final result. But the thing is, there is no final result because for this correction number two, all we've done is picked a color. We haven't done anything to it yet. So let's go ahead and click the color board button to go into the color board. And now what I'm going to do is, because I know I'm only selecting that green area, I'm going to take that green area and turn it a different color. And you see, I can make all this change. I can turn it pink, purple, green. I can do anything I want to affect that. And I'm only affecting that green area because I limited this selection to that green area. And it's not affecting her face. And it's not affecting those the, these uh, cross things over here. It's only affecting that green area. Now, there is a little bit of a problem you'll see, and that is that we are getting a little bit of her shirt. We're seeing a little bit of the shirt over there that's getting affected because it was so close to the green. So let's go back to our mask, and here I'm going to adjust the softness of that mask. I'm going to lower that softness a little bit, or I could raise the softness. See, the more I raise it, the more it starts impacting the whole image. I'm going to lower it so it has a, a more limited effect and does not affect her shoulder as much there. And that's how you create a color mask. So if I want to add more to this selection here, I can shift click. And you see, when I press the shift key, my eyedropper gets a little plus next to it. I'm going to add this yellow to the image. And see, now I'm, I'm pressing and holding. And now as I drag, I'm selecting more and more of that yellow. We want to keep it real small there. So I've now got the green background and the yellow of this, this board here. And now when I go into the correction, the changes I'm making are affecting not just the green background, but they're also affecting that yellow area there. I'm removing blue from that yellow area or I'm adding more red to that area and so forth. And I'm limiting that area based on the color selected using the color mask.